scary thing that you can experience. Are we checking this out? Back with the girlies. <laughs> She's looking like a dinosaur. <laughs> okay, my girlies, welcome back to another video. Long time no YouTube and I am beyond excited for this video. This video is kindly partnered with Garnier, which is so, so fun. And we're gonna be getting up to some pretty fun things. We're gonna do like a whole like reset glow up from Jan to Feb. I feel like we've all been going through January blues, getting used to the like new year type situation. And I'm honestly so excited. Some of these products I haven't tried, so we can test, trial them together. But we have actually got a main event of the show. I'm gonna be dyeing my hair myself. Now my mum always dyes my hair. She's an absolute godsend, but obviously me living in London and her being up north, sometimes I just need like a little top up. My hair's kind of looking, I don't know. It's just a bit dull. I feel like the harsh London water hasn't been doing it any favors. I'll show you in natural lighting tomorrow because it's looking a little yellow. I picked out the color 9.1 Vanilla Blonde and this looks stunning. I can't wait for my hair to be like this. I am actually gonna get the help of my friend Beth just because, you know, she's the hair girly, the hair guru. I've literally got to go to her. We're gonna have a cute girls evening tomorrow night, which obviously I'll take you along to. So we'll see how that one goes. It's meant to be so easy, like home proof type situation. So by the end of the video, I'm going to have a luscious little refresh on the hair. However, basically I thought I'd start this video off now because I'm actually gonna fake tan this evening. I have never tried this and I am beyond excited. So this is the Garnier Amber Solar Natural Bronzing Self Tan Mousse. And it's a hydrating coconut water, which I'm really, really excited about. Intense tan results in one application and no transfer to clothes. So we'll test that on the PJs tonight. And of course I've got the face tan to match. Now I do actually know Beth swears by this stuff. So I'm really really excited to try it. I never have before this one the more drops you do the more intense it gets So excited to do that and I'm reading it also has hyaluronic acid in which we all know and love Okay, let's get tanning. It's definitely safe to say that the Australia tan has definitely worn off So I'm so excited to actually be fake tanning. Just gonna chuck my hair up No, because why does that actually smell unreal? It smells so good These are the body befores then moving on to the face tan. I think I'm gonna go for eight. I like to mix my face tans in with either like a moisturizer or a serum. So of course this evening I'm gonna go in with the Garnier Vitamin C Night Serum. This is one of the best drugstore vitamin C's that you could ever get. Like I love this stuff so much and I love that it comes as a day and a night. So I'm actually just gonna drop this straight onto my skin. Oh, I need a mirror. Ah! Oh my God, I just feel like Then I'm gonna do one, two, three. And we're just gonna blow them up all over the face. A little hack of mine is that I then like to just grab some micellar water, take a cotton pad, and then just go over my eyebrows. And that is me at fake tanning done for this evening. So I will see you in the morning. Okay, I know I said goodnight. Um, it's Saturday night, so me and Jenna are probably gonna watch a film. I really wanna watch We Bought a Zoo. It's like one of my favorite films. It's just so cute. And the little girl actress in it, she's just absolutely amazing. But I'm sorry, I have never seen a better invention in my entire life. Whoever made this, I hope they're earning millions because this is just incredible. Good morning, my love. Are we checking this hand out? I can't get over it. I mean, I know that my face doesn't match and I definitely could have gone more intense with the drops that I did on my face. I still feel like there is like such like a natural, nice glow about my skin this morning. But my skin feels soft. She's looking very tanned. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. This morning I'm just doing a bit of tidying around the apartment, it being Sunday today. Um, just so obviously it's nice for the week. Um, I'm gonna head over to Bass very shortly, pack bits up. I'm also gonna take over some like little like face masks. I think obviously Love Island's on tonight. So we'll definitely be watching that. I've actually been finding it so good. And I think it's because like we obviously all know them and like things like that. It's like more interesting than it normally would. It's great. And yeah, we're gonna dye my hair. I'm scared. I'm not scared. It's gonna be great. Oh. She's, I'm actually a bit crazy this morning. Um, I actually launched the girlies love too. Um, on like Instagram and things like that. The website will be coming soon. We'll get into that probably in another video. Um, I also thought that. Oh my god, my hair's really not looking cute right now. But I thought we could do um the befores of my hair now whilst we've got like some natural lighting. Very greasy this morning. Yeah, this is what my hair's saying. It's just getting dull. So let's get on the road and let's get this hair dyed. Bye, babe. Literally came straight here and was put on this straight away. Back with the girlies. We're gonna order Chinese maybe? Yeah, I think so. I'm trying to force. Sunday night vibe. Right, so we've got the Chinese. What was the full rundown? So we had a plate, right. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just got taken away. These girlies that have the most like plain palettes. 
quite frankly ever. But I'm actually quite happy. So we got um what did we get? This chicken balls. <laughs> Prawn crackers. I think sweet and sour chicken balls is extravagant. It's got I don't know what this is. <gasps> I think the curry sauce. Oh. oh, this is a sad day. I've got Chinese that curry sauce. God darn know. it. This is chips. Chips. But we've yum. got a curry sauce. <gasps> you got red sauce. That That's the best sour. sauce ever. Yeah. Could be so. What is this? This is the balls. The balls. The chicken balls. And then we got a plain rice and a plain noodles. Did we get spring rolls? No. <gasps> we got everything. Forgot to mention that we also got a little duck. Rate the Chinese. Okay, so we're gonna give this a go. It's meant to be like so easy. So I feel like we're gonna have absolutely no problem. I mean, I've got Beth with me because she's the little hair guru. So we're definitely don't it's no fun. right now. We're gonna ignore this. I'm actually so excited. Uh, let's just get into it. Like, there's no point talking about it because we just need to like, I feel like we need to see the results, you know? We've got some shea butter aftercare. It's actually really nice because this has got 90% natural origin. We've got the developer. We've got the colorant. And I think we have a little pair of plastic gloves. I feel really like you need to it. take my hair down and do like the consulting. <laughs> oh, are we gonna pretend I have a hairdresser's thing? Go this on. is gonna be a blow up and a half. Get ready for the salon. <laughs> Ooh, okay. It's really greasy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Paul, you need the sachets. Yeah, but you gotta tell me which sachet is. A, then B into the tub, which you can use as a bowl for the preparation. Oh, yeah. That's so satisfying. Oh, that smells so good. That smells like, you know, that hairdresser smell. But at home. <laughs> Can I smell it? DIY hairdressers. That mix yeah. the formula with the spatula until the mixture is smooth cool. and lump free. Right. I'm gonna do half up, half down so we can like properly- Do. 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 You said do. I keep saying that. So we can properly distribute it. Got it all mixed. Gloves are on. Let's get it. <laughs> Start at the roots and go to the bottom. I look absolutely crazy, but we're now just waiting for it to develop. We're gonna keep, it says like 20 minutes. So we're gonna like keep watching it, 20 minutes, that kind of vibe. They've also added this, which is so great, because it means obviously like you can condition after using color, which is always a must have. Okay, so we're out of the shower, and Beth's gonna now start what I dry my hair, and I'm very, very excited. I'm excited to see the full results, because I feel like you can never tell when the hair is wet, but like it's looking very promising, like it instantly looks brighter. Say hi to the vlog. Hey to the vlog. <laughs> I've never tried those ones. Very slimy. Is I've it? got another one. You can put it on after. Girls, night. Oh, it's really cold. I feel like I'm slugging right now. I think that's the point of it, babe. Just pop this on. How are we looking? <laughs> <laughs> She's looking like a dinosaur right now, but Beth says that this is the this is the way to go. Imogen says she wants volume. Did I? We actually never discussed what I wanted. You actually always say you want, but you literally said that's why I can't. No, I always do. I'm lying to you guys. We're on my camera and my phone right now. So we're going to take out the rollers and I'll be right back. Ta-da! Oh my God, Beth's done such a good job with the blowout. If anything, a bit much. We were just, we've been cracking up for the past five minutes because it was giving Elvis Presley. Um, but my hair is so, so bright. We are actually in love. And it feels like, it doesn't feel like straw, which is so nice. But like sometimes you come away from like the salon or like bleaching it and it's so straw-like. But that was such, such an easy process. Like honestly, they like, can't get over it. Step one, step two, done. Um, I've also just done a little more skincare. I'll obviously show you the final results like from the back and in, in daylight and everything. So yeah, I'm excited. Good morning, everyone. She's feeling like a brand new bee this morning. We're gonna keep it PG. I'm just getting dressed now to head out to Westfield to meet the other girlies. We're gonna go for a really nice lunch with Romy. Beth Cara. I was a bit scared because I have like very balayaged hair. It's highlighted and then I've got like my dark roots. I was thinking, oh, like how, like what's it gonna do to my dark hair? Because obviously like I wanted it to cling on to the like the brightness and the blonde, which is definitely done. But then I was like, oh my God, like what's gonna happen? And it's lifted the undercolor to such a nice light brown. I'm so obsessed. It's making me want to go like even more blonde. But honestly, like I can't get over how easy it is. If you wanted to like skip the salon and just like do something easy, or like if you're an all over brunette or an all over blonde, like highly recommend. But equally, to like a highlighted dark, like my root color is so dark. This worked so well. Look at it. I feel like it just looks so like healthy. I haven't stuck loads of bleach on it to like achieve like this level of brightness. Like definitely couldn't get this with like a purple shampoo per se. Oh my God, I love, I'm obsessed. She's obsessed. I just, I'm gonna play with my hair all day now and I'm gonna make it so greasy, but I don't care. Ha. 
Vogue, Vogue. Let your body move to it, groove to it, yeah. 